using my new camera and today's video is all about my empties and it's basically a review of the products I have used in the past month and I'm gonna tell you if I like them, if I didn't and if I'm basically gonna repurchase them or not so let's get started I have a little bit of everything so I'm gonna start with the bigger item and the most boring one which is Batiste this is my favorite dry shampoo this is the scent light and breezy I love Batiste because yes it gives a white powdery finish to my hair but since I'm blonde I love that because it lightens my roots so I really like this then we have a bottle of bio oil I usually use this by itself on my body or I mix a little bit of this in with my moisturizer and a lot of people say this is miraculous for stretch marks I have very old deep big stretch marks and I haven't seen a difference but when I'm using this I can definitely feel my skin is way more elastic and happy and just not dry at all and it smells really really good it has a beautiful sweet scent I really like this bio oil then we have one bottle of my Shiseido Expert Sun SPF 50 plus I've talked about this before this is my number one sunscreen and I love this because this is the one that I trust the most when I am out in the sun running or by the beach or in a pool this is the one that keeps my skin more protected plus it works really really well under makeup the next one is this Raua conditioner this is the rainforest grown I love this conditioner because it's super super light and usually when I use my purple shampoo my scalp gets super super dry and this is the only conditioner I can use on my scalp and on my entire entire hair and it doesn't weight my hair down or leaves my hair greasy this is an expensive brand you can get it at space and K and I highly recommend the rainforest grown then we have my favorite conditioner from the drugstore. This is the Garnier Fructis. I think it's Bye Bye Damage. I have it in Portuguese. <laughs> but I love this because first, it smells like candy. It smells amazing. And second, this is really, really good at detangling my hair and at controlling freeze. So every time I use this, my hair feels super sleek, super soft. This one, Allure Best of Beauty 2014. And that got stuck in my head and then I purchased it and it became my number one. And I have purchased this over and over and over and I'm going to buy a new one soon. Then, more hair stuff, we have this John Frida Beach Blanc Cool Deep Purifying Shampoo. I used this a lot last summer when I came back from my surfing classes to take all the salt from my hair. I'm not gonna repurchase this right away. I think I'm gonna try to find a new clarifying shampoo. Then we have Tidal from Sunday Riley. I used this up completely and there's nothing in it, but this is basically a gel moisturizer that is super, super hydrating. I'm not a big fan of gel moisturizers because I have really dry, no, I don't know if really dry skin, but I have dry skin and I love thicker, more emollient moisturizers, but I use this in conjunction with three drops of an oil and it worked perfectly on my skin. And every single blogger that I follow usually says this leaves the skin with a beautiful glow and I completely completely agree if you have oily combination or normal skin type or if you don't like heavy texture this is an amazing moisturizer from Sunday Riley Sunday Riley is expensive but I mean I think it's worth it then we have my beloved Tula illuminating face serum this is completely empty there's nothing in here uh, this is my number one serum I did a whole review which I'm gonna link below but this is basically my number one serum for daytime because it has a beautiful milky texture it helps diminish in my sunspots and it has the right amount of hydration next we have two products from first aid beauty the first one is this purifying mask with red clay this is a peel off mask that you put on and it takes all the gunk out I am not gonna repurchase this one I have one that I like more from Bosha it's a nice one but I think I have others that I like more and then I have a little top of the facial radiant pads I love this stuff from all the heel pads I use these are the ones that I use the most because this come in only one step these are quick you can use them morning or night or morning and night and I definitely see a change, as the name suggests, a change in the radiance of my skin. And I already have a big top that I'm currently using in my bathroom. 
then we have this Tata Harper Regenerating Cleanser. I like this cleanser because it's a nice exfoliating treatment. One thing I didn't like and one thing I don't like about Tata Harper products is that the pump sucks. So mine suddenly stopped working. So to use this, I have to screw the thing off and poured it into my hand while I was in the shower so I wasted a lot of product and right now I'm not gonna repurchase this this is really expensive so I don't know I don't feel the need to you know just run and get it and in this little one I have some travel size REN Vita Mineral Omega Optimum Skin Oil I took this oil to London with me and to some other trip I don't remember but this is such an amazing oil it's super light it doesn't have a scent it hydrates and it left my skin with a beautiful beautiful glow I'm thinking about purchasing the big one but right now I have a lot of oils that have been sent to me that I need to go through but I highly if you're looking for a nice oil I highly recommend this one by Ren then we have three mascaras the first one is my Too Faced Better Than Sex this is the one I'm using right now and this became my holy grail mascara because it's waterproof it gives me a ton of volume length and it keeps the curl of my lashes up so my lashes look way way longer when I use this one thing is that it dries up really quickly and the brush is so big that I usually end up with mascara somewhere up on my lid but the end result with this is so good I always come back to this one but I found a very close option at the drugstore and this was actually recommended by Tati from Glam Life Guru this is the All May Get Up and Grow this has the exact same one as the Too Faced Better Than Sex. It's super thick, it's very volumizing, it's lengthening. But the one thing that's missing from me is that this doesn't hold the curl for me, at least. So what I did is I used this as a first coat and then on top of that I used this waterproof voluminous from L'Oreal. This is a cold classic and I think it's one of the best mascaras you can find at the drugstore most of the time I just use waterproof mascaras because my lashes just look down and the only way to make the curl last is by using waterproof this one is the only one that doesn't hold the curl but this gives an amazing result if you don't have problem with that I highly suggest testing this one because it's very similar to the Too Faced and yeah that's it I'm probably gonna repurchase this too and I already repurchased I'm using a new one of the Too Faced then we have three products for the eyebrows the first one is the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade 1 and the weird thing is that if you see my eyebrows mine are really really dark but I wanted to buy a lighter shade just for days when I don't want to use much makeup and I just wanted my eyebrows to look put together shade one is amazing because it will fit someone with really really light eyebrows or someone like me that has darker brows but that wants a natural result or if you just want to fill up this part with a lighter shade this is perfect because it doesn't have any warm undertone whatsoever um, the spoolie in the goof proof brow is amazing the packaging is so beautiful I use it all up there's nothing left and I'm gonna repurchase this for sure then we have my number one this is my holy grail brow product this is the Anastasia brow definer in medium brown this is way more creamier and more dark this is the one I'm using today this is just the perfect shade for my brows I love how creamy it is because it's really blendable and this just gives me the best result when I want a bit more defined bold brows but then the one that I love the most is not the one that I love the most. Basically, the fiber product that I love the most is from the drugstore. And is the Brow Precise Fiber Volumizer. I love this to put it on top of the Anastasia pencil to set my brows and to give them a little bit more volume. The one thing I don't like is that the brush is a tad bit weird. This is an amazing drugstore alternative. I think this is my third tube. And what I love is that it adds 
a lot of volume and fibers to my eyebrows but it looks so so natural so i think this combo is perfect and i highly recommend it we are almost down then we have these two glasses the first one is this victoria secret i believe these are called the beauty rush i have used this uh, type of glasses for years I believe since I was around 13 years old and I love to use this in replacement of my chapstick and this is super thick if you don't like sticky glasses stay away from this this is super sticky super hydrating and they smell and kind of taste amazing and I usually go and buy three three for one or three for two then I have this H&M pure luster gloss this was in a shade called raspberry something I think it was Raspberry Rapture. The formula of these glosses are very, very good. These are thick and opaque. They have a lot of pigmentation to them. I haven't finished this, but this started smelling so weird. So chemically, ugh. I have to throw this out. And the last ones are these shots. I have four shots from the L'Oreal Power Ripper Lipidum. But this basically saved my hair last summer because I color it, I did a lot of surfing classes and by the end of the summer my hair was orange, dry, it was a mess. And I started using this once a month and I really saw a big, big difference in my hair. I usually get this one or buy this one from a salon that's close to me and they sell them individually. I know Ricky's New York City has them in New York City, but it's called Ricky's New York City. And there's also Ricky's in Florida because I have seen that shop in Miami. If you need your hair to come back to life, I highly recommend this shot. That's it, we're done. I hope you like this video. I'm gonna link all the products I mentioned in this video below. If you want to follow me on my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, my blog, everything is down below. And if you want to subscribe to this channel, the link is down below too. I hope you like this video and I'll see you guys next week. Bye.